Welcome to Cisco Secure Firewall Licensing Series. My name is Chakshu Piplani and I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use universal permanent license reservation on FDM, which is an on-box management solution for Cisco Secure Firewall. The universal permanent license permits perpetual, unlimited use of supported firewall products, including all optional licenses. Once you purchase and apply the universal permanent licenses, any applied feature licenses, which are normally time-based, are permanently applicable. Let's dive into the demo. Okay, so I'm logged into the FDM, and as you can see, my device is currently unlicensed. There's no base license as well. And to go ahead and register the device, I need to go into Smart Licenses. So let's go ahead and select View Configuration. This device is currently using the token-based licensing, which is the default. And in order to go ahead and switch to universal PLR, you have to go ahead and select this gear icon and select switch to universal PLR. Before I select that button, I just wanted to make you understand why do we use universal PLR. So these are typically used in air gap networks in which there is no path to the internet. These are high security networks where you want to prevent any possibility of external entry and attack basically cannot register the device directly to the Cisco Secure Software Manager. Instead, you use a permanent license reservation mode to obtain a license which you can apply to the device. So once I go ahead and select this switch to universal PLR, I'm asked to select a performance tier, which is FTDV20, the recommended one. And that's gonna go ahead and provide me a rate limit of 3 Gbps and a VPN limit, uh, session limit of 250. Let's go ahead and select yes. What it's doing in the background is it's gonna provide me with a key. This is similar to the way we do specific license registration on FMC. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this key and go to my Cisco Software Central and select license reservation. I'm going to go ahead and paste that key in there and select next. Now it's going to ask me to select the license. And as you can see in the previous window on the FDM, you saw that I had a rate limit of 3 Gbps. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Select next and the quantity to reserve is one. I'm going to go ahead and select generate an authorization code and copy that authorization code to the clipboard, go back to the FDM and paste in the authorization code and select register. So once the registration is successful, this is completely an offline process. You can see over here that um, the universal PLR has sufficient licenses and the base license is enabled. I can go ahead and enable my uh, thread tier URL uh, malware, all the licenses, features that I would want to use and I can go ahead and start making changes now. This concludes this session. I hope this has been informative and I would like to thank you for viewing it.